Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, excuse if my voice is somewhat weird and my face is like baby face. You guys are used to see me with makeup, but it's morning, so yeah. Now, something that you guys might already know is that I created a TikTok some months ago. I'm a TikToker now. And to kind of honor TikTok and the love that you guys are giving me there, I decided to do a TikTok related video. And this video is going to be me trying trends that I see on TikTok. Maybe some of them will go very well and maybe some of them will be a flop. But I guess we are going to discover it together. I saved all of them for me to try the first time this video, so I have tried none of them before. And let's start! I actually have no makeup on because I want to start with a trend that's basically fake freckles. People are doing fake freckles with fake tan. That's a little crazy and at the same time kind of genius. Okay guys, so I'm in my bedroom now. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of echo in here. This is my bag of tanning products and funny thing is I have a bunch of them but I use none. I actually never in my life used fake tan on my body, like the full body. I tried once on my eyebrows. Yeah, weird, another weird trend. I actually want to try this one. It's a face fake tanner, so it's especially for the face. And also it says it's deep and dark olive toned self tan spray. Make sure you have shaved, thank god, at least six, eight hours development and then rise. Six to eight hours? That's like an entire day, okay? I guess I'll be using this the whole day. And this is how it looks. And I actually saw on TikTok a lot of people using this kind of brush, like the foundation style of brush, and just do it really fast like this. But I'm a little bit scared of that technique, so I want to go with the brush that I usually use for my fake freckles. Okay, zooming in on my non-makeup face. Oh, not that way, something happened there. Why do I now feel that this is not a good idea? Too late to go back. Nothing about this looks natural right now. But let's hope it works out. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like this. I know it looks very weird. It feels like I have some kind of disease. But yeah, hopefully Six hours from now, I can wash my face and have some pretty fake freckles. I hope so. Okay, now zooming out to explain the second trend. The second trend that I'm going to try, I'm so excited for this one, is actually pancake cereals. I don't know if you guys have saw it before, but when I saw it, I was like, Genius! I'm such a huge fan of pancakes, I just love pancakes. And now I'm going to try cereal pancakes, which is basically the same thing as pancakes, same recipe, but instead of doing like pancake size, you're going to do like little drops. It's literally going to look like cereals, but they are pancakes. So let's go! Okay, we switched to the kitchen now and I'm gonna be using my regular pancake recipe. If you're a subscriber to this channel and have saw me doing pancakes before, I'm sorry, it's the same recipe, but I'm going to repeat it very, very, very fast. So here's what I use to make pancakes. One full banana. Oh, sh <laughs> here's me in a nutshell cooking, such an expert. One egg and milk. And then let's mix everything together. Alright, so I always use this little machine thing for my pancakes, but here comes the part where it gets a little bit different. So here we have our mixing and I have this bag here that I'm gonna be using as like a pastry bag. This is the part where I hope I don't mess up. Now I'm gonna do a small little cut in here to start putting our cereal in the pan. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. It needs to be a small cut. Oh sh No, 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 no! I'm the worst cooker. I thought this was going to work out so good. And now it went so bad. So everything is going bad. I'm sorry guys, I'm panicking. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I put everything in the other corner of the bag and I'm going to try to do a smaller cut on this one. Okay, it's better now. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a little bit now to kind of flip the other ones. Oh, we have 
one there. How cute is it? We have a huge one, guys. Well, this one doesn't look good. <laughs> All mixed together, I think it's going to work. And this bad boy over here, I'm going to eat separately. So we got the taste right. <laughs> okay, second try. Guys, I'm getting it. I'm doing it. Okay, I'm getting proud of myself. Okay guys, so now time for plating. I'm going to start by adding a few strawberries on the bottom of the bowl to make a breakfast of champions. Next, I will throw my cereal in there, my pancake cereal. Let's put the ugly ones below. Ooh, they're looking cute. Now the best part, Nutella. All this juicy Nutella here. And finally, a little bit of my favorite topping, which is coconut, small rasps. And voila, we have our pancake cereal ready and I'm going to do a little coffee to go with it and get back to you when I'm tasting it. How beautiful does my breakfast look? I'm so excited to try it. Okay guys, I'm ready to try, let's see. Oh my gosh. This is so, so good. I was so hoping that it wasn't worth the effort because it's so much harder work than regular pancakes. But now, now I'll have to do this again. So, my life, actually. I'm so sorry I will put you guys to this, but you'll have to do this. You will just have to do this. I'm gonna eat the whole thing by myself and get back to you in a bit, I guess, to do another trend. Okay guys, so third and final TikTok trend I'm going to try today is actually the do-it-yourself at-home printing t-shirts trend. And basically it's people doing at-home prints on the t-shirts with regular printed paper and that transparent plastic film we usually use for cooking and then you need to iron it and supposedly it works so I'm going to try it today but today I had this idea of doing it in a black pair of pants I'm not sure if it's going to work because my pants are not the same jersey fabric as t-shirts if it doesn't work, I'll probably change it up really quick and do it on a t-shirt. So here are some stuff that I printed. I wanted a futuristic anime kind of vibe. I printed this one. This is actually the work from Ajime Sorayama. Then I have Mr. L here from Death Note. I also have this girl here. I don't know which anime she's from, but I love that she's saying I have no interest in you. Here, this artwork from Ghost in the Shell, which I think is also very cute. Then I have the Japanese character for love. I have Miss Inata here from Naruto, you guys know I love her. And then last piece, Don't Mind the Lion, I just wanted to use the 2050 to get more of a futuristic vibe to the pants. So I cut off everything, I have everything ready. So I have this film over here, which is the, the transparent film. And I have the baking paper, cooking or baking paper, I think it's baking paper, which I'll be using on top, not to uh, burn everything, basically. So I hope I'm doing this right, but what I saw is just for us to put the picture here and then cut it and then we just fold it. Now I'm going to place this on top. I'm not sure for how long I should do this. Why is nothing happening? Okay guys, the film is actually ripping, probably from the heat. So guys, it was a fail, so I'm going to try one last time with a t-shirt to understand if this trend is a scam or if it was the pants fault. This iron is not strong enough. Okay guys, so after a lot of trial and error, I finished with error. I tried a bunch of different stuff. I tried on the pants, I switched to the t-shirt and I can see how this would work because some parts of this print are glued already, but I just couldn't get like an even glue. I just think my iron doesn't get enough heat. If you guys know the solution to this, and if it's the iron or any other tip you have for me, let me know in the comments because I would love to do my own prints at home. I think it's cool. But at the same time, even if it gets to stick, I wouldn't rate this trend very high just because you can feel by the touch that it's paper and 
it's probably not going to survive even one wash so yeah I wouldn't really recommend it can you hear ASMR I'm kind of sad about it I was really hoping this worked but yeah at least I have some cool prints to keep somewhere in my room so I'm gonna wash my face now I've been with the fake freckles for uh, four to five hours so I think it's time for me to wash them off okay guys I washed my face let me zoom in for you guys I'm actually pretty happy about them they are very like the color washes off a lot and this is only four hours so I really like this tone and of course I did like big stains but I can now add some small darker dots on my makeup and it's going to look so much better I can use like only concealer now and still have my freckles without having the whole process of foundation and then the powder freckles so I can rate this trend probably an 8 out of 10 yeah, an 8 out of 10 I think it's it's fair I think it's a good uh, technique for a sun-kissed look especially if you get a little tan on so yeah guys, these are the trends that I have for you today I had really fun trying them only two of them worked but the ones that worth, I'm really happy about them especially the pancakes I will be doing that more often the cereal pancakes it was so tasty so so tasty if you're new to this channel and seeing this video on your recommended or something and you like it please don't forget to subscribe to grow my youtube family i really love my youtube fam now i wanted to end this video with some thoughts on on love and I wanted to share a little bit of love with you guys because it's a really tough year not only because of the pandemic but because of the hate crimes we've been seeing and this is something that has been going for decades racist crimes still happen and we are still so blind to it so I just wanted to to share my my love black lives matter let's support the cause we we need to do more for this we need to be better that's just that it's it's a hard time, I just wanted to leave this message I love you guys so much Don't forget to spread love in this time It's so important to spread love Love you guys See you next time